key components include world-class infrastructure, which I think is absolutely necessary, digital, but also uh, physical, robust doctoral, postdoctoral programs, and career development and opportunities for young researchers and research groups. You need sufficient resources and infrastructure to avoid the brain drain. If we're able to invest in infrastructure, that would attract you, Paul, from Glasgow to come and work, not to help, but to work and the pro, you know, progress your own research career, but you are comfortable with the infrastructure that we have. I think that is very important because that will make you to come back now and again. But if my infrastructure, my grants management, my administration, and even how I keep the samples, if you're not happy with that, you won't be encouraged to come back to us. So the first, it seems to me that if we want to drive postgraduate programs, open access to library resources and open access to uh, open access publications to join courses, co-credentialed, co-taught, co-curriculated to make some of that happen. You're going to need laboratory capacity on the continent, which means co-owned and co-curriculate, uh, co-owned uh, laboratory capacity. And by the way, we already have that. In health sciences, there are many, many European universities that have investments in Africa around Ebola, around HIV AIDS, et cetera. We need to extend this to the, to the other sciences, the social sciences, the natural sciences, the engineering sciences.